Have you ever wondered how software engineers at NASA write spaceproof code? NASA's coding standards are strict, but adopting those rules can level up your career and help you to get job even faster. In this video, I'm going to show you what you can learn from NASA to level up your coding game, even if you are a JavaScript developer. To start, let me show you rule number one. Imagine you are building software that's supposed to run millions of miles away in space. If your code crashes here on Earth, you can easily debug it and maybe restart. But in space, a single crash can cost millions or even ruin the entire space mission. And that's why NASA decided to never use recursion in their code. Sure, recursion can be an elegant way to solve some problems, but incorrect implementation can end up with an infinite loop that will hang the entire system. On Earth, there's an inconvenience, but in space, it can be a catastrophe. NASA knows this, and that's why the recursion is completely banned in their code. Instead of recursion, they encourage developers to use simple and predictable loops. By replacing a recursion with straightforward loops, the code gets more predictable and stable and safe under extreme conditions. But loops themselves aren't really solving these problems, right? Even the simple loop can be a troublemaker if you are not careful. And this brings us to rule number two. Have you ever had your browser freeze or a server suddenly became unresponsive? Chances are that you encountered the dreaded infinite loop. Engineers at NASA have zero tolerance for it. They know that even a simple loop can freeze critical system and they have a solution for it. They require every loop to have a clear and defined upper boundary, no exceptions. So how do you apply this rule to JavaScript? First, always define clear exit condition in your loops. Let's look into this example. As you can see, we have a simple loop that is running forever until the east flag is changed to false. If you would work at NASA, you would need to limit the number of iteration by adding a counter, like this one. This simple habit will ensure that your loops will never spiral out of control, keeping your apps responsive, stable, and reliable. Unfortunately, loops aren't the only potential troublemaker in your code. That's why NASA have a strict limit of the size on their functions. Let me show you rule number three. Have you ever opened a function and felt instantly overwhelmed? You scroll endlessly and you're trying to understand what is happening, writing console logs and debugging it? We have all experienced this frustration. NASA understands this perfectly and I suspect their engineers read Uncle Bob's famous book, Clean Code, because they limit function size to maximum 60 lines of code. Shorter functions are easier to read, debug and test. That's why whenever your functions start getting long, pause and think. Can I split into smaller and more atomic functions? Your code will become easier to understand, test and maintain. But did you know that NASA has also specific rules for variables and constants? Let me show you rule number four. Have you ever spent hours tracking down bug only to find out it was caused by a global variable that suddenly changed the value? We all have been there. It's frustrating. NASA engineers know it, and that's why their coding standards explicitly require variables to be declared at the lowest possible scope. In other words, you need to keep your variables close where you are actually use them. There are three things that you need to consider. First, you should always prefer to use const over let whenever your variable doesn't change. If your variable is a variable, so it changes its value, then use let and never ever use var in JavaScript. Second, use closures to encapsulate variables and keep the data private. So basically you need to scope them within the function. Third, when you write modules, expose only what is absolutely necessary. Keep your exports minimal and clean. Following these simple practices makes your code way better and it brings us to the next rule, rule number five. Have you ever had your application crash because you assume that some functions succeed but it actually silently failed? Maybe you expect a DOM element to exist, but it returned null. Or perhaps you trusted an API call, but it returned a different value, which was unsupported by your application. NASA engineers would never take that risk. Their coding standards require you to check every return value. If the return value is different than what then expected, then you should consider it an error and gracefully handle it. This rule might sound extreme, but it's a powerful habit that makes your code way better and more stable. 
By checking return values, you ensure your code handles errors in a predictable way. It means you should always verify return values from async calls like promises, fetch requests, database queries, DOM methods like query selector, get element by ID, and also external APIs or utility libraries, and similar methods that can return null. You should never assume their success and always confirm that the return value has the shape you really wanted. This simple habit helps you to catch errors early, and even if your application doesn't travel to Mars, you can use those techniques to stand out during the job interview to show that you are a solid coder. Now you know 5 out of 10 powerful NASA coding rules that will level up your JavaScript code. I skipped the other 5 rules because they don't really apply to JavaScript and I didn't want to confuse you. But there is something else you should be thinking about. Software engineering is dying thanks to AI, and many software engineers will not survive what is about to come. That's why you should watch this video next to learn what is about to happen and how you can stay relevant and even thrive in the new reality. I will see you there.